Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program in chapter four is random number guessing game enhancement. Okay, so enhance enhance the program that you wrote for programming challenge 17. So it keeps account of the number of guesses that the user makes. When the user correctly guesses the random number, the program should display the number of guesses. So it's it's exactly or the same as the program in chapter in 17 or not chapter not chapter 17, but the previous program which is question 17 but this time it should also display the number how many times it took you to, to guess the correct answer so if, if it took you seven times it, it will, the program will say something like oh it took you seven tries to to get the to guess the correct answer so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this question and then load up the actually cut this question and load up the pre the previous program so I'm going to open it and that's it over here so random number guessing game I'm going to open it and let me, let me close this. I'm going to save this program as um, a different program. So I'm going to create, go to chapter four. And I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it random. So I'm going to use a full name because I like doing that. Random number guessing game enhancement. Okay, that's a long one, but name it to something that you know makes sense or, or it's reasonable for you but i, I like doing this <laughs> okay so i've created, I've created it I'm, and i'm going to change the name also to the same thing and i'll change the name of the class also so random number guessing game enhancement and i'll save it here and i'll also change this to random number guessing game and enhancement like this and let me see. Okay, so so that's good. So I'm going to compile it, and everything works. All right. So let us run the program and see how how um, what happens. But before that, let me go ahead and paste the question so that delete this one and then paste that. So that's 18. Oops. And copy that one. All right. Okay. So let me take this back. Let's go ahead and run this program. Compile it run this program and see what happens I apologize the table I'm using is, is making too much noise today um, so I apologize for that please bear with me alright so guess the number I'm, um, I'm going to so basically this program is just allowing you to the, the computer has already generated a number and it's trying to it's telling you to guess the number. If you get it correct, it's going to tell you you got it correct. But if it's less than that, that number, it's going to say too low. If it's greater than that number, it's going to say too high. And it's going to keep doing that until you get that number. So I'm going to try 50 and hit enter. It says too high. Okay. So that means it's lower than 50. So I'm going to try 40. It still says too high. That means it's lower than 40. So I'm going to type 30. Too low. So that means it's between 30 and 40. All right. So I'm going to type 35 too high so that means it's between 35 and 30 so I'm going to try 33 too high so that means it's between 33 and 30 I'm going to try 32 too high so that means that it's between 32 and 30 which means it's, it's the answer is, is, is 31 it can't, it, it, there's no way I mean the, it has no choice so 31 is the number I hit 31 okay and it says yes you guess the number but this time around the program wants us to enhance it and instead of just telling us that, that we got it we, it should also it should also tell us how many times it took us to try okay so all we have to do is create a variable that keep, keeps track of that right so I'm going to go ahead and create an int variable and I'm going to call it number of guesses okay now number of guesses initially I'm going to set it to zero because before you start the program your number of guesses is zero okay but as soon as we enter this while loop, we've started our first guess. So in that case, number of guesses is going to be equal to what's already stored in number of guesses plus one. So what's going to happen is it's going to take what's already stored in number of guesses, which is zero, add one to it, and then store the result in number of guesses. So zero plus one is one. And it's going to store one over here and it's going to ask the user to guess 
and then go up again and then I, and then now this is the user's second try so it adds one to so you know so now this is the user is trying for the second time so it keeps track of the second try now and the user goes again and comes back and this is a user's third try so it keeps adding one to number of guesses so that's the user's third try now and then it keeps asking so we have to um add one to number of guesses here not under because if we try to do it under it's going to ask the question and add one which which is which is correct but the thing is if you try to display eventually if it's the third try right if it, let's say is it is it is the third try it's going to basically display if if you get it correct it's going to display that oh you got it correct without counting it okay without counting that 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 last try it's going to display that oh you got it correct before it adds one to the counter so I, I hope you get me so it's it's important that we add it above here so like I said if we add it below here and you get it correct and it says yes you get the number it's going to say yes you get the number okay if you're trying to use that variable in this statement it's going to say yeah yes you got the number but then that try is going to be added to one is going to be added to number of guesses after it displayed this message so this message is going to display uh, uh, the number of guesses one less okay so because it's going to display this is before it adds that try to number of guesses so it's important we add it above okay before it displays the message so as soon as i enter this while loop that's the first try so i add one to it so because that's your first try so that's your first try as the as the users as the user and display a message and then if if the, that's if the, the loop goes up again that's add one to it and that's your second try so keep going comes back up again that's your third try so keep going and then now whenever it's done whenever the user gets the correct answer we can say oh um yes you guess you guess that you guess the number in however many tries right so let's go ahead and use it and say yes you guess the number okay in number of guesses okay we have we will have the number in number of guesses number of guesses i'm going to concatenate it to a string and say number of guesses tries okay because number of guesses oops number of guesses number of guesses is going to hold number of guesses so yes you guess the number in if it's seven it's going to say seven tries so let's try this and see so i'm going to go ahead and go ahead and compile this and run it and I'm going to keep track of how many times I try. So this is going to be my first try. I'm going to try type in 50. So that's one too high, right? I'm going to type in 25. That's my second try, too low. I'm going to type in 35, too high. That's my third try. Okay, so my fourth try now is this. I'm going to try 30, too high. That's my fourth try. This is my this is my fifth try so i'm going to try my fifth try now i'm going to try 26 and it says yes you, you guessed the number in five tries and it's correct because i tried it five times let's try again okay so i'm going to run the program i'm going to start with this is my first try so first try 50 too low second try 70 too high third try 65 too high fourth try um 62 or oh, like 63 too high now i've lost track of my try i think this is my fifth try so what did you say too high i, I don't know 62 yes you guess the number in five tries i think i got it correct so now let me keep track of, uh, of it again i think i lost track of it but let me try this time i'll keep track of it well but i think it's working so i guess the number 50 that's my first try too low second try 70. third try 80. fourth try 85. fifth try 83. Sixth try, eighty-one. Seventh try, eighty. 
8 try 78 <laughs> 9th try 75 10th try 76 <laughs> 11th try 77 okay so 11th try 77 so yes you guess the number in 11 tries so that means it's working okay and I was I was, I was thinking of thinking more about the numbers than trying to guess the uh, trying to trying to get it correctly but anyways I, I try I guess this in 11 tries so it's it program is working it's keeping it um, account of how many times we're trying so yes th this was a uh, pre pretty straightforward okay so this program works um, if you have any questions please comments down below in the comment section um, thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next program all right bye bye